everybody, today I have a huge haul. Yeah, this, this haul is out of control. It's from Simply B. And it's all winter and fall stuff. Now I did partner with them on this video. They provided these goods to me, but I did pick them out. These are all my selects. And I'm actually really excited about them because I'm gonna shoot a lookbook today. And I'm gonna use, hopefully, some things from this haul. So I just found out some new information that I had to let you guys know. Because I love you. It turns out Simply B is going to be running a competition and one lucky person is going to win the chance to go to Seattle and stay there for three nights and see everywhere that kind of Simply B shot a lot of the looks for this season. So traveling is pretty much my favorite thing to do. So how could I not tell you? And traveling for free is pretty much the bestest. So to enter, all you need to do is click the link down in my bio. All the information will be there. And when you win, let a sister know. <laughs> Anyway, I just wanted to go out and say that I really love this brand. They have really great clothing. I myself have been a personal Simply Be shopper for a while, so to get to be part of you know this partnership with them is really kind of special for me. It's great when you get to partner so often with brands you love, and yeah, so this is another brand I love, and I hope you guys enjoy all the things that I tried on, which you're gonna see right about now. It's a big bag, though. It's a very big bag. So. Let's just get started. Okay. The first item I'm already living for just by the color, and I know what it is because I've seen it and I've been coveting it. It's like my dream color in my dream fabric. And I'll tell you what, I secretly really love a midi dress because I don't have to worry about like things actually getting like shown to the world. I can just be comfortable. And you know homegirl loves some velvet. Like velvet is my national fabric. That and sequins, one of the two. Maybe sequins are like my glam fabric, and velvet is like my day-to-day -day fabric. How cute is this? So it's a velvet dress, and what I like is it's a midi length, so it's more appropriate for fall. It's got a tiered kind of pleated skirt, which is cool, but it's not like old-timey looking, it's more like expensive looking. I don't know if you guys can see the expensiveness. Doesn't that fabric just look like a lot of money? Because it really does. Like the glow, oh, it's so regal. And you know exactly what I was gonna wear with, and I'm gonna look like, a sexy vampire woman like because that's what I feel like this fabric is is like a sexy vampire living forever and fabulously ah oh, so sexy the collar has like a little ruffled collar if you can see there at the top with a little button closure in the back the sleeves are really nice because they give a lot of room so if you have like a tighter arm this is gonna be perfect for you they go just out kind of in a straight sleeve and then bell a little bit just like right here so this is just this dress is a dream dress. This is, oh, it's kind of like, um, I'm real into it. Like, can I just have a moment for the fabric, the colors, and the cut? Um, it is velvet, it's gonna be warm, so this is definitely like, if you're trying to keep warm and look fabulous, rock a velvet dress. I mean, I think I'm gonna have to do another velvet lookbook. I think that's what I'm realizing, is like last year I did a velvet lookbook and I think, mm, I should just do another velvet lookbook because velvet is awesome. And I'm all about it. And anytime I can have a reason to have more velvet, I'm in. I don't remember what this is, but it's gingham. So it's, I think it's a shirt, but I don't. It is a shirt. Oh, this is fun. The fabric on the shirt is actually a little unusual. It's different than what I would normally feel from a shirt. And I, I quite like it. Um, I like that it's non-stretch. It feels more like a real shirt. So um, yeah, it's fun. And ruffles. I'm always there for ruffles. So this has a ruffle right across the breast region. At the top it has another one of those kind of ruffled collars at the top that must have been what I was feeling at the moment. But I would like is it has this little detail in the back that's a tie. The reverse side of the fabric is kind of like a bolder print but I actually like this more, it's kind of like fancy cheesecloth but it's, it's, it's a nice kind of fun fabric. I like this detail where the arms come down and they button at the cuff. I'm looking at the sewing. It looks pretty, pretty spot on, actually. Um, no complaints here. My only concern, I always worry about this with non-stretch tops, is like, is the bottom going to be big enough for my hips? So we'll see that in the try-on. I'm looking for what it's made of. It's weird because I would expect the pattern on the other side to be like a reverse of this, but it's in an entirely different pattern, which is kind of fun. Um, it is. Made of it's 100% cotton, guys. So this is very breathable, very fun. 
I just love ruffles. I think I'm into ruffles this season a lot. Like ruffles on the arm, ruffles on my boobs, ruffles everywhere. And um, the little tie is really fun. I like little details on the back. Where you're not looking for them. Bam! Surprise! Next is... Well, I love the colors already. It's probably why I picked this dress. Oh, this is fun! So this is such a fun little dress. I love the colors. It's very comfortable. The V shape is pulling the eyes up, so it's gonna draw to my face, and it's just really nice weight for kind of like fall into winter. It's not too hot, not too cold. It's, it's lovely. So this is like a sweater dress in a fun little chevron print in very, very fall colors. Uh, I like it because it is actually like um, a vest. So it'd be really cute if you put a button down underneath this with some boots, it could be super fun. It is ribbed all the way down, so it's gonna be very forgiving on your body, and the chevron is actually gonna draw your eyes up and down. So if you're shorter, this actually might be a great dress for you because it's gonna lengthen you. The composite of this is 100% cotton as well, so again, a very breathable dress. It's a mid-weight fabric, not super heavy. It's got a nice round neck, and I just wanna take a second here to talk about seaming. When you look at a dress like this, it's really important that these chevrons are like matched up and like knit well into the fabric because if this is off even a little bit on the front, people are going to notice. And then I want to just point out the sides that they took that time to also make sure it matched on the sides. So I'm holding the seam up right now. You can barely tell the seam is there because it's perfectly matched. So this is really fun. I love the colors. I think, I think I'm going to probably take it with me to Europe with a little button down and be Super chic, super cute. Yes. Plus, orange is like my favorite color. Birthday week attire. Okay, next. Bam. Aha. So, one of the things they wanted me to do was to get like stuff that was good for fall into winter. So, I think there's gonna be a lot of like warm stuff in this fall, which is good because I'm sick of it being so hot outside. Come on, weather. Get your ish together. Oh, this is so cute. So when I was picking out stuff for this haul, people kept saying, this jacket's so shiny, it's so shiny. And I expected that it could be like metallic. And it's not, it's like barely shiny. In fact, it's just the right amount of shiny. In fact, ostentatious just me would be okay if it came out like pure metallic, but I think it's the perfect amount of shiny. I mean, if you're gonna wear a black blue jacket, like what, you wanna like not stand out? Pshh. That's for someone else's life. I'll be over here in my bright blue jacket, owning it. Okay, this is like a little bit shiny, not a ton, but it's a cute little puffer jacket that's in a moto style. So it's that nice warmth that you're gonna need for the cold, but it's a little bit more chic because it's got all this detail. I hope you can see all the seaming. And then it zips up just like a biker jacket would, but it's quite thick and quite warm. Um, to it, it's quite nice. I actually really, I love it. And then I love the little, again, chevron detail on the back, perfectly lining up. And when we look at, this I guess is like a caps, made by capsule, I don't know. The construction of the jacket is, do, 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 do. Basically, I've never heard of this, polyamide. What is that? I don't know, probably a type of polyester. And then the padding and lining is all polyester. So it's pretty much all a poly blend fabric. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. I just really like the kind of puffy jacket, but not like I'm a marshmallow man, more like I'm in a sexy puffy jacket. Also, kind of reminds me of Michael Jackson. I don't have any reason or rationale why it does. Maybe because he used to wear jackets like this. There we go. Next, it's my favorite color, which is pink. Actually, pink is not my favorite color, that's a lie. Pink is my face's favorite color. It's the color that looks best against my skin tone. Any type of pink, red, berry, that's what's gonna look good on me. This turned out to be a lot shorter than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a full dress, and it really does feel like more like a tunic on me. Additionally, uh, the size that was set was a size smaller than I typically wear. So it's weird because it does actually quite fit me well. Uh, I think a size up would fit me better, but I think I'd still have the short problem. So I just threw some leggings on underneath to give you an idea of how you might make it work. So this is 
kind of a businessy dress. Ooh, super fun detailing here with the stripes up and down, the stripes the cloths, just some interesting kind of sewn in details. If you look closely, it is an eyelet, but it is fully back. So you're getting some nice like visual difference here with this kind of cutout look. The fabric it's made of, gotta go digging. Always gotta dig for that tag. It is actually made of a polyester, 100%. Itself looks like it's gonna be long enough. I'm a little concerned about my hips because we, as we, we talk about this every video, they're big, my hips are big. And whenever I'm in a dress like this, it doesn't have any stretch to it. So if you're gonna purchase this dress, keep that in mind, no stretch. So if you're in between a size, you're definitely gonna wanna size up. And it's like, it's a do or die moment. So this may or may not work for me. We're gonna find out on camera. I kinda hope it does because I can just see this with like black tights and like a cute leather jacket. I actually have the ideal leather jacket for over this. It's just like, wow, like kind of businessy but kind of, you know, a little edgy as well. And then some cute high heels. Oh, I can see the look in my eyes. So I really hope this fits. And if we look at the color, it just brings me out. Oh, I don't wanna wear it, but I hope I can. And I really have a legitimate fear that it won't fit. And this is something we should talk about. We all have these legitimate fears that clothing aren't gonna fit. Just because I'm really good at shopping for my body doesn't mean that sometimes I open products and I'm like, I've gotten really good at it because this is what I do, right? I shop a lot. But it still feels crappy when something doesn't fit, whether it's because of the size or the way your body's shaped. And you have to move on from it because it doesn't go away. It always feels bad because when you put something on your body, you want it to fit. You want to look amazing. And sometimes it just doesn't and it sucks, but don't hold on to that sucky feeling. Instead, use it into fueling yourself into finding something that will fit your body well. So regardless of whether that fits or not, I'm going to take it as an experience to learn about how the clothing fit instead of beating myself up about it. That's what I present to you as a strategy for when things don't fit or don't work out for your body. <laughs> It's more velvet. Rah! Whoa, I dropped it. Okay. Yes, this is so hot. So, I absolutely love this dress. It's so comfortable, but I think it's so sexy at the same time. I could totally wear this to work. I could totally wear this out. The color is just so on point this season. I'm just really, really into it. I'm. Really excited, I'm gonna pack this with me on my trip next week. And I'm just, I love velvet. I love velvet so much. And this dress is just a color that I don't normally wear, so it's so fun for me to get to try a new color in my favorite fabric that just makes me feel fabulous. That's what we all want, right? Oh my gosh, I have to do another velvet lookbook, it's decided. So, this is a pink velvet dress, a little bit looser sleeve. It comes down into, kangaroo -y pockets and then ties around the front. This looks like the most comfortable, cool, unique velvet dress I've ever seen. It's just like, usually you see velvet with like a Victorian styling or like a sexy club girl styling. And this cut is very unique because it's a bit oversized. It's, you know, kind of got an athleisure feel to it a little bit, but then it's this pink mauve velvet, which is very like girly and feminine. So I think this is a really interesting dress. I don't see a lot of pieces like this. So this might be one of my favorite things of the haul just because it is so different. Um, I'm definitely packing this dress with me as well because I just think it'll look super cute and super chic when I'm in Europe, maybe in Paris. Can you see me in Paris on this? Also, I sometimes have troubles wearing like dusty rose colors because of my skin being more yellow toned, which we'll talk about in a video in the future. But this color actually works quite well because it's just got a little bit more warmth to it than a typical mauve will. But the velvet adds this nice reflection, so it still has that light, bright feeling that you want from like a dusty rose, but it's better suited for my complexion. Oh my goodness, guys, guys. I don't even know what this is, but I know it's faux fur. And if you have not watched my channel, you probably have missed the fact that I love faux fur. I love this jacket. It is super soft, super comfortable. It's a little tight on my hips, but I still have no problem doing the snaps up. It just flares out at the hip part. So as you can see, um, that's my curse in any jacket. So for me, I probably won't button it up. I might just like tie it closed. And there's a leather tie that goes with it. Literally, I was telling somebody on a date the other day that you need to always be ready for a rap video. And um, 
the way you prepare yourself is by consistently wearing throughout the winter ridiculous faux fur pieces. And that is my life goal, to always be ready. If someone wants me to look fly as hell, I'm there. And this jacket is no exception, is no ex exception, I can't even speak today. Look at the way the fur looks, it looks so luxe. Again, it's totally faux, totally fake, but look how cool it looks. It's got a little leather belt here. I'll be honest, I'm not nuts about it, it looks cheap, so I will probably not wear it. It's got button closers, or like snappy closures, not buttons, you snap it. Snappy snap! Oh gosh, I have no coordination this morning, so I just tried to snap that and it went wrong. But it is, like look how luxe that looks. Over like a little black dress and some heels. Oh my gosh, I could actually wear it over the velvet dress I just showed you. That would be adorable. And then BAM! The inside. I didn't actually know it was gonna be there, but I'm glad it lived up to my expectations because it's gold. Oh my gosh, I need to be dripping in this. I told you guys, I don't usually put stuff on, but when I like have a moment, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, yes. I'll take four of them because money is really no object in my lifestyle. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I have so many rich girl fantasies in this. Oh, I'm gonna have somebody. Oh, can I just take a moment to hug it? It's also very soft. A good faux fur feels more like a teddy bear than an animal. And I just, I wanna hug it. I just, I'm gonna have a moment here. Love. Love, 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 love. If this is love, I don't wanna fall apart. Is that a real song? I just started singing it, but I don't even know if it's a real song. Right now I can't distinguish the difference between songs in my head and songs in reality. Next! Okay, watch, go watch, go watch. I don't know what this is. It's black. And I'll go back to... Uh, Amy Winehouse was last week, why I'm still on that game. This is cute. So this sweater is super fun. I love its fit. It just fits me really, really well. I like the band at the bottom and how it comes down. And most of all, I like this little detail here where it's kind of see-through around the ruffle. So you have the ruffle, and then you have this nice kind of like little pop of skin, kind of just like from an opaque weave on the fabric that also again brings the eyes up to the face, which is lovely. That's exactly what you want in winter. We're all bundled up. Like the one place you can see of me is my face, so I might as well be directing you there. So it's a little black kind of mock turtleneck. And it has these fun ruffles down the front in a V-shape, again, drawing the eye to my face, which is perfect because my face is fabulous today. The sleeves go down in just a standard sleeve, no puffing or anything different. It's honestly just a great basic black sweater with a little extra detail, which every girl needs in her wardrobe. It's very light, which means it's good for the transition of um, spring into fall or spring into, I mean, spring into fall. There's no summer, guys, I canceled it. No, of summer into fall, or in this case, fall into winter because fall feels like summer still. It's 80 degrees in New York today. WTF, mate. Um, this is made of acrylic and viscose, so it's got a nice kind of luxe feel. And yeah, it's really cute. I think it's I think it's fun. I have some really fun ideas how it's styled. Actually, it'd look really, really killer under that blue um, zip-up jacket. Kind of as like a, you know, I like wearing basics in different kind of cuts and colors that kind of say, here's my maximalist style, but I'm giving a basic nod and I have an idea for a look there. I'm trying to give you guys what I think about when these items come in, like how I start planning the process of coming up with ideas and wardrobes and things like that. So if you like that, let me know. If you don't, I'll fix it for the future. I might even show you guys some looks I put together from these items at the end of this video because I like really have some solid ideas going through this. And I don't usually do that, but I just am like struck with so much inspiration that I want to show you guys some looks that I came up with. We are on our last item, Go Us. I actually don't know what this is because they sneaky sneaked and wrapped it all in this white stuff. So I have to like actually unwrap it. Sorry, I like to unwrap things. Isn't it boring unwrapping stuff? Oh my gosh, yes, I forgot I ordered this. So this skirt I'm kind of super bummed about because I accidentally ordered a 22 and I'm actually a 24, so it's a little bit tighter here, so this pleat looks a little weird. It's not terrible, and honestly, if I wear it a little bit, it'll probably stretch out, but 
I just, oh, I wish I'd ordered the right size because I really like the aesthetic of it. It's very in this season. I think I talked about the Real Housewives person having a pleather skirt. Well, this is like the exact color of her pleather skirt and I've been looking for one forever. And I finally find it and I flub it up by picking the wrong size. So note to self, get your true size in this and don't flub it up like I did because it's such a cool aesthetic. And like, I, I dropped the ball. So, womp, womp, womp. Doesn't look terrible though. I think I can make it work. This is amazing. It's a navy faux leather skirt. Now I have a black faux leather skirt. And I'm gonna tell you something, it felt basic. I liked it, but I wanted something that was a little bit more me. And I like that this is a weird color for leather. It's not a real leather skirt. It's all faux. It just has that leather, leatherette feel. But I wanted something that was a little bit more like, bam, in your face. And this feels that way. Um, this has some really awesome details, which I'm just gonna show you up close. You can see here that the actual stitching is done in this lovely mustard color. You know, I love the color mustard. It has a lovely zipper in the back. It is invisible, but again, that yellow stitching around the zipper is quite nice. And here's the big perk. For those of you with big hips, that's why I picked this skirt out. It is a flare out at the bottom. So it actually is going to fit my waist and fit my hips, which is very unusual in a skirt. So I'm actually super excited to give this a go. And I have, again, some amazing styling ideas for it. So this has been, this has been a very productive haul because very rarely do I open up everything and go, oh, I know what I'm doing with that. Oh, I know what I'm doing with that. And this haul, like, this haul, like, inspiration struck. So. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you guys liked the items I picked out. Let me know if you have any questions about fit or anything else. Links to everything are down below in the description. Um, I also linked to a couple other things on site at Simply Be that I loved or would think about pairing with these items. So check those out as well. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day. I love y'all and peace.